Okay, here's Dan's garage. This is the next thing we're going to be reviewing. Can anybody guess, can anybody guess what it is? <laughs> I can't even see it in here. Actually, it's going to be this, uh, I think it's a stag table. Yeah. Swag. 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 It is bad. <laughs> <laughs> And you always, you wonder, you say, oh, hey, go grab a screwdriver. I can never find anything in here. Look at this is his charging station right there. This is his charging station. And I want to show you guys something. He, uh, we did, a while back, we did a shoot up. We shot up that DeWalt uh, radio right there. You can see the holes in there. Sorry about the video work. Um, Ever since we got it, he just brought it back. It's been sitting there. It's never been moved. I mean, why would you even keep something like that? He's going to be one of these 80-year-olds that have just got everything in his attic and everywhere, and you can't even walk through his house. Perfect place for a box up there, Dan. I know. It's organized, Dan. Very organized. You know, here, I, and I'm going to tell you guys where I told Eric today. I used to come out and tinker with stuff off. Oh, I don't know. My mic's not on. That's okay. We can still hear you. Really? Yeah, I can hear you when you talk. Yeah, turn on your mic. See? Dan's well organized. <laughs> no, not yet. Now no, I can. can. Um, and I was just telling Eric this today. Before I started Tools in Action, I would spend tons of time out here building stuff, just doing awesome stuff. Since Tools in Action, I never have time to come out here anymore. Because so. you can't find anything when you well, do no, come out here. Well, no, that's what kind of stuff. I, I guarantee you, if you had to do a project right now, it would take you at least an hour and a half to get set up. Because I know when I come over here and do videos, seriously, I don't think his garage has ever been clean. We always take about a half an hour moving stuff around and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, and when I come to your, your house, it's always ready to go. It is. Yeah, whatever. You're not even out it's in the garage half the time, man. <laughs> you can't even walk in your garage. No, my garage, I can't. But I got an excuse. I got a one-car All right, small zoom in garage. over here, Eric. Zoom in On over what? here. what? Just tell me if you can see anything over here. Well, yeah, I can see a lot of stuff. All right. Can You're you on, it? man. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. It's beautiful. All right, today, here's what we're talking about. We're talking about something from Swag Off-Road. Uh, what are you guys thinking? Swag Off-Road, who are they? They have nothing to do with tools. Well, actually, it's a machine shop out in Oregon, I believe. All American-made, American parts. Uh, you know, and it's a guy that just invents stuff, comes up with cool stuff for off-road, and he came up with this swag table, and it turns Swag, your isn't that what was in that movie uh, with uh, Myers? The Austin Powers? Wasn't that swag? swag. I, mean, I could be wrong, I don't even remember. Swag. Oh, the jizz. Not the jizz. Jizz. <laughs> I don't know what movie you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I, Mojo. Oh, was it Mojo? Yeah, oh. Mojo. Are you sure that we can be seen? Make sure I can be seen on this side. Oh, yeah. Okay, does it look good, though? Can you see this product? You know what, you guys? We're going to do tons of overlay. Yeah, this, this is, is just another overlays. raw Tools in Action video. But don't let our crappy video deter you from this product because it, it is awesome. A, we want to uh, totally help these guys out because they're made in the USA. And B, Which is cool. You don't see that much anymore. Right. And B, because this is an awesome product. Uh, you know, and I know even Eric says, what did I say today about this? It's your favorite thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> and he said until tomorrow. But it doesn't matter. <coughs> I mean, it's awesome. It makes me want to do a lot of work here. It is. Stuff. You know what? In all honesty, it's cool because Dan has been talking about getting a bandsaw for a long time. He's really big into metalworking and stuff like that. And he loves the bandsaw, but this is the first time he can actually have like a table now where you can cut. So it is cool. Right, right. And I mean, I have tons of portable. There's a portable Milwaukee there. I got a portable Dewalt over there. I think I got Bosch somewhere. You know, I have tons of porter bands, but really I have no... Porter bands? That's what they call them, porter yeah, bands. Yeah, porter bands, I know. Why well, is that funny? I'm not laughing. I'm just repeating what you said. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but he has ones that work with most Dewalt's and some Milwaukee's. Uh, he actually recommends that the Milwaukee's the best saw because it has the deepest throat depth there. Okay. By now, does it have to be a plug-in or can you use a battery-powered one? Uh, they only have plug-ins listed. Okay. Basically, what you guys do is there's two screws on the uh, guard of the tool. You take that off and then you put it on this plate here. <laughs> See how much stuff you can't even walk. It is cool how easy it comes on and off because we did... We busted a blade and we did have to change it, so it was easy to take right, right. on. Right, so now if I need to just go and cut a pipe real fast, you know, I can just take it off and just really technically keep this guard out here. It's a little <laughs> big, but it'll get the job done. And then when I need to come back, 
What's so funny? I don't know. It's just one of those nights. Where I would go cut a pipe. And then... But you know what? It's solid. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's solid. It's great quality. Uh, he has... You said it fits any... Uh, where's the... Uh, what? Miter gauge. Oh, where's the miter yeah. gauge? It's over there. Jeez, I'm surprised you can't find it. No, it's over Where? there. Right there. Oh, to there the left. Is. Yeah, basically any uh, normal miter gauge fits right in it, too. Like, smoothly. Yeah. You know, this is the one from our uh, DW XRS 7... I don't yeah, know, it's from you know. the DeWalt. DW744 XRS. And Game here's what's out. cool. I don't know if you've already mentioned this. Right. It's got a paddle switch on the bottom, like a foot switch, almost like a sewing yeah, machine. Yeah, let's kick it on, Eric. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kick it on. So basically with this tool, what you're going to want to do, and this saw just happens to have variable speed on it, so I'm able to dial it in. Um, but you need to uh, put a clamp on the trigger. So as you can see, Eric's going to turn the unit on just by clicking his foot there. I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but the great thing about this is, is that light. I mean, look at that. It's, it's like it's just designed is meant to be. Yeah. You know? I mean, I think that's a really good, uh, really good situation. Ships flat so he can ship it. It's, it's one of those things that fits in like a little shipping box, you know? So you the, put it together the then with the, yeah. you put what, it to, two bolts on each side? Yep, two bolts on each side. And, and it, it does look, not to interrupt you, but it does look like you can mount it. Yeah, you can mount it to your bench permanently. Obviously, this situation right here is not ideal. My bench is kind of tall. And messy, and you don't have that much room, but yeah. Well, no, but even if it was clean, I don't think I would like it up here because, I mean, do you really want that work that close to your face? Well, I just you want it to where you can control it, whatever is easy for you to control. Yeah, that's true. I love the miter on both sides, though. Yeah. Miter gauge. Um, but, you know, I can't say enough about swag, you guys. When I first saw it, we did an article on it. I was like, ah, this is okay. But after getting it and looking at the quality, I mean, just looking at the, the steel, the fabrication of it, it's top-notch quality. And I think that, uh, you know, for the homeowner, it's perfect. Because now all you got to do is buy yourself a quarter band, and then you can get yourself the stand. I think even anyone <coughs> back of the van or something like that, you can take it out and set it up and use it. And you got a portable bandsaw, basically. Yeah, that's table, actually really you know true. That's really true. I don't is know. it really true or just true? It's really true. Really true. It's really true. <laughs> so check it out, you guys. Swag off road. We'll put the link at the bottom there. You guys will definitely like it. Is this like the only product they have? No, he has tons of products. Uh, I don't know that how many tool related products. He has some like really high end tool related like, oh, hydraulic it? stuff oh. and uh, stuff for jeeps and stuff like that. He's a fabricator. Um, his name is Troy. So, but anyways, man, we would like to thank him for sending this out because uh, it's really something that's. Made in the USA and really, really is cool. It really adds a lot of functionality to a regular saw. How many times have you said reality in this? Or really in this? Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. All right, you guys. Eric is going to get his ass beat today. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out. Tools in Action. Don't forget if you win free stuff. Thank you, Tools in Action.